indicators. In acid-base titrations, indicators are substances that have distinctly different colors in acidic and basic medium. An indicator is usually a weak organic acid or base that has distinctly different colors in its non-ionized and ionized forms. The end point of a titration occurs when the indicator changes color. But not all indicators change color at the same pH. So the choice of indicator for a particular titration depends on the nature of the acid and base used in titration. So by choosing the proper indicator for titrations, we can use the end point to determine the equivalence point. These are some common acid-base indicators. For example, light timer blue. In acidic, it shows red color, but when in basic medium, it shows yellow color. And this is the pH range of timer blue that is between 1.2 to 2.8. pH range here means that is the range where the color of red change to yellow. Okay. Next is bromophenol blue. So it's yellow in acidic and purple in basics. So the yellow color start to change to purple at pH range between 3.0 to 4.6. Okay, so between this range, the yellow start change to purple. Okay, next is methyl orange. In acidic, it shows orange, but in basics, it shows yellow color. And the orange color start to change to yellow in range pH of 3.1 to 4.4. Next is metal red. It shows red in acidic and yellow in basics. So they start to change the color between pH range of 4.2 to 6.3. Next is chlorophenol blue. It's yellow in acidic and red in basics. So the pH range is 4.8 to 6.4. Bromothymol blue, yellow in acidic and blue in basics, 6.0 to 7.6 is the pH range for bromothymol blue. Present rate yellow in acidic and red in basic, so pH range is 7.2 to 8.8. Next is the last one, phenolphthalein. It shows colorless in acidic and pink in basic. And the colorless of these phenolphthaleins start to change to pink um, in range of pH 8.3 to 10.0. Choosing the suitable indicator. Choose indicator which the end point pH range lies on the steep part of the titration curve. So we have learned about the titration curve before. Okay, so each titration curve has its own steep part. So this choice ensures that the pH at the equivalence point will fall within the range over which the indicator change color. Means that the equivalence point must be within the pH range of each indicator. You know what is mean by pH range? We have just discussed in the previous slide. Okay, The pH range is defined as the range over which the indicator change from the acid color to the base color. Right, so for example, like this is the acid base indicators and it shows the color in acid and basic. For example, like bromo, bromothymol blue, it is yellow when in acidic medium, but as the pH increase, as the pH increase, it will start to change to blue at pH six. Start at pH six to seven point six. As you can see, it start to change to blue at pH six to seven point six. 
Alright, so this is the pH range. So each indicator has different pH range. This is the titration curve of titrations between strong acid and strong base. The pH at equivalence point is 7. So the most suitable indicator is bromothymol blue because its pH range is between 6.0 to 7.6. At this pH range, the yellow color of bromothymol blue start to change to blue. So this is where we can find the end point and also the equivalence point. Remember, in order to choose the suitable indicator, we must ensure that the pH at the equivalent point is fall within the pH range of the indicator. So we have learned about the pH range of the indicator before and you can refer to the table that provide the pH range for each indicator. But other than bromothymol blue, we can use another indicator if the pH of the pH range of the indicator lies between the endpoint pH range. So where is the endpoint pH range? It here it lies on the steep or vertical part of the titration curve. So other than bromothymol blue, we can also use phenolphthalein. But if you want to use methyl violet, it's not a suitable indicator because its pH range is not within the end point of pH range. So this is the pH range for indicator. So each type of titration has different equivalent point and end point pH range and suitable indicators. For example, strong acid, strong base, the equivalence point is 7. The end point pH range is between 3 to 10. So the suitable indicator is bromothymol blue or phenolphthalein. For weak acid, strong base, the pH at the equivalence point is more than 7. So the end point pH range is between 7 to 11. And the suitable indicator is phenolphthalein and chrysolate. Next is strong acid and weak base titrations. So the pH at the equivalence point is less than 7. And the end point pH range is between 3 to 7. And the suitable indicators is metal orange or metal rate. 